Hello, everybody. Thanks for stopping by. I hope you all had a great afternoon. It's um, been a beautiful day in Florida, and I am very excited. I have um, printed my new kit that I'll be working on, but I wanted to come on because I had, while I was printing my new kit, I was um, doing some fussy cutting and playing around um, like you do, and um, I wanted to use up my papers and clean up from my um, previous um, videos and my uh, projects. And I still had some of this paper left from uh, Lilithy the Paper Witch. It's the same kit that I've been using. And um, I decided that I would make this little clutch and thought, you know, maybe somebody um, would like to make one as well. So, um, this is a magnetic closure. I just have some magnets here and some magnets under this paper, which is under the lace there. And it closes very, very simply by just doing that. And so there you go. And then inside we have one, two, three pockets. And I put together some tags um, I have a friend that I want to send a gift to, so um, I have those tags. And then um, I follow um, uh, Melina, and she did a uh, two by two um, little clusters. So I made some fabric clusters today so that I could, um, you know, get some made. I'm completely out of them. So those are just two inches by two inch base that I used of some linen that I had and then, you know, just put some buttons on them because that was part of the challenge was to um, use a button. And then um, I have some tags in here and thought I'd share some of my paper beads that I've been working on, learning how to make. These are just made out of some magazine that I cut and I coated them with some fingernail polish and I thought my friend could just take those off and use them however she chooses. And then I have a tag here, a pocket that I made with a leftover page. And inside there's these tags that I just kind of hooked together with a little um, bird uh, birdhouse with a little bird and a, and a blue bead. And um, those are some tags that were left from the kit that I put inside there and let's see what else did I put in there um, some journaling cards so there's some roses that I oh my gosh I just love these so beautiful so I just made some journaling cards for her and then I proceeded to make this. Now I've seen this made before, but I don't remember who made it. I know that it's in one of my newer groups and I can't remember um, her name, but um, I couldn't really follow her. I couldn't follow her, so I made my own version anyway. And um, this is a flower from Vita from the Ukraine and you pull it out and it's got this little tag inside and then I just made a little um, you know notebook inside and then you just push this and there's a little secret notebook inside here so and if you want to see a demonstration on how to make that I can do it I wrote down every step I took it took three hours to figure it out to try and make it. It's not the same as the one I saw the girl make because I just, for some reason, I couldn't follow along. I wasn't, you know, sure. I don't, why is that stuck? It shouldn't be. Anyway, it just fits right inside there and it's got a closed bottom. So that's that. And um, it all fits very nicely back inside here with no problem. And I'll be shipping this off to my friend tomorrow with my tag book, which was supposed to be sent last week. Um, I'm going to have to message her and let her know that it's all done and it's being mailed. 
So that's that. And I thought, since I'm making one for myself, um, to put my ephemera and my pieces in that I will be holding for my new kit that I'll be working on, um, I'd take you along and show you how to make that in case you don't know. And if you do know, well then, that's great. And don't forget, um, tomorrow, uh, probably around 12 Eastern Standard Time, I will announce the winner of our little book that I had been making, which is this one. Two lucky winners from all over the world, not just the U.S., will win one of these. So two people I will choose um, who have subscribed to my channel and told me where they were from. Okay, so that's that. And I will show you real quick how to make that. So all you need is, um, I already made one in my, my camera stopped. So let me just get what I need over here so I can show you how simple this is. All you need is some cardstock, a piece of cardstock, and you can, um, Decorate it any way that you choose, you know, put anything on it. You can even use um, cardstock from, you know, one of your, um, um, you can use cardstock from anywhere, <laughs> you know, one of your paper pads or what have you. And you can even make a 12 by, you know, you can use 12 by 12, 8 by 8, 4 by 4, 6 by 6. You can use any size you want. So what you want to do is fold it up. And I typically will fold mine 4 inches. So make sure I'm in frame, which I am. And I'm going to fold it up 4 inches. And just make sure... And then I'm going to take my top and I'm going to fold that down. And my idea came from Rachel at Roxy Creations. So I make a lot of these because whenever I make a pro whenever I do a project, I make some of these before I start my project and I will decorate it in some way to show me what is inside there. But I won't, I, I don't take the time to print on it or, or waste the ink. So then I round the corners. And you can, you know, decorate it with lace. You don't have to. And you don't have to use magnetic closure. You can use, um, I like to use Velcro dots. They work great. The ones you get at the Dollar Tree are fine. I glue them just because, what am I doing? Let's get this in right. <laughs> there we go. So they're rounded so it looks nice. So then you just open it up and you take copy paper, just, you know, regular copy paper. Don't use your expensive stuff and fold those in half for however many pockets you want. And I'm going to do four because I know that I'm going to need the space for my um, kit that I will show you in one minute. This too. And you can do as many pockets as you want. And if you're just using it for your ephemera for your project, I would suggest using book page or, you know, inexpensive copy paper, anything that, you know, the book page is great if you have a lot of it. I do, but it's really brittle because it's really old. So I just use, um, this is just my copy paper that I will grab if I'm making something um, following along with somebody and want to make, you know, a template or do the same thing that they're making. And then I, um, will make it with them and then I'll write the directions and stuff on it. And, um, so yeah, so this is just very inexpensive copy paper. There you go. 
So that's all folded. Now, the thing you want to do is you want to make sure that you can close it. So what you need to do is fold it up like this. And then you want to take your pencil because see, you can't fold it. You need to cut this down and you need to cut it a little bit this way too because you don't want it edge to edge. So let me find my pencil, excuse my reach. And I'm going to cut, I'm going to put my pencil mark right here where this, where this is. And I'm gonna cut just below it. Okay, and then I'm going to cut also about this much so that I'll have that much space, you know, on each side off. And I'm gonna have to use my big cutter because my other one, the blade is too dull and I have to wait for Amazon to send me some new ones. So this is my cutter pillar. Crop. And I don't really like it, but it's the only one I have right now. And they are sending me a new part. This right here doesn't seem to want to cut straight. And it's not very sharp. <laughs> so they're sending us a new blade. We've already had a new blade. We think it's bent because I tried to cut chipboard with it. And I found out that this isn't the one that you cut chipboard with. They do have one you can cut with chipboard, but my son brought me this one and I didn't. I neglected to read instructions, <laughs> but the company's been awesome. They actually sent me a um, beautiful, if you've been watching my videos, they sent me a beautiful um, 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 scoreboard to try out so and I love it I absolutely love it so and I love the company they've been very 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 good to us and um you know meeting all our needs so all you have to do now is open it back up and put your pages like this and make sure that everything is going to fit before you start gluing anything down which as you can see, if I'm in frame, mine are, they come right to there. So that's perfect, it's gonna close fine, no problems, okay? So what you wanna do is you wanna take your first piece, there's your fold, and there is where it opens, okay? And you wanna put that on this fold, okay? So just put it on that fold and make sure you've got, you know, your space is even on both sides. You know, there's a little, it's white paper, so you probably can't see it, so I'll pencil it in. But there's a spot here and there's a spot here. And then all you're going to do is take your glue, and I'll use this because it's quick, and you do one straight line. frame yep do one straight line right down the middle and you're going to take your paper and you're gonna fold it up on that line of glue you don't want any up there okay and then you're gonna take your next piece and you're gonna center it. Make sure it's open at the bottom. And you're going to run another bead of glue here. And you're going to do the same thing. And make sure that your two sides are even and pressed. This makes a great gift, and it's good. It's flat. It goes, you know, in a flat envelope, <clears throat> and perfect to keep your um, 
items in while you're working on your projects. Again, make sure that your fold is open at the bottom, which mine is, I think. Yep. So my fold, my opening is at the bottom. You can use score tape for this. You can use actually any kind of glue, I think. I use um, Fabri-Tac typically, but I just figured I'd use this because it's fast and I'm videoing and I don't want to take up your whole day. Thank you all for subscribing. I so appreciate it. My, my numbers have gone way up. <laughs> I surpassed my 150 by May. I'm at, I think I'm at 200. I'm not sure, I'm not positive, I haven't looked, but it doesn't matter. I, I'm just so grateful for all of you. And um, I'm learning, I've had an offer from Terry S. Lee. If any of you know her, she has offered to help me with my videos and my editing, which is fabulous. So I'll be talking to her in the near future. This is such a great community. So the next step, is you've got all your papers are like this because they're all glued in the middle. Okay, so you've got, you know, your folded piece here, 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 and here. So now what you're gonna do is open up this and you're just gonna fold along this line. Do not attach it to here. You're just gonna glue right here together, okay? And you're gonna do that with each page that you folded right along the edge Press it down. And do it again. And you want to do it again. With your third piece. And here's your fourth piece. Remember we glued it in the middle. It's not glued here. You're just glued, you know, when you had it down this way, you just glued there, the fold, you know, the middle. So now you're gluing your edges. And then a little bit here. Okay, so now you've got this one is glued closed. This one's glued closed. This one is glued closed. And this one's glued closed. Okay? And then just flip it around and do the same thing on the other side. Go to your fourth, you know, your back page. Open it up. Book page. Scrapbook paper. Any Anything will work. Newspaper. You can use anything you want and you can make it any size you want. You can use tracing paper so that you can see through it if you wanted to. I've made these before and I've lifted this up a little bit and added a journal here. Those are very nice. You know, I put my signatures in here so that when the person opens it up, this is a journal and then they've got the pockets. I have a, um, I think it's Christmas time, a video, if you want to go back and see that. I did it with um, newspaper and covered it with wrapping paper. And there you go. So that's all you do. So you, you're gonna glue both sides of each page that you had already glued in the middle. So these two sides are glued, okay? And that's it. So just make sure that those are dry and it folds up good, which it does. This folds down good. 
And then let me see. I'm not going to do any kind of closure on it right now. Um, but a simple closure you could do is this is really simple. Take your eight and a half by eleven cardstock. This is just paper, but um, so take your eight and a half by eleven cardstock and cut it three inches wide. And then all you want to do is this is just a very simple closure so that and it just slides right off right off and on and you can you know if you're if you're sending this to a friend or what have you just make sure that you leave enough room because you know you're going to have this full so you don't want to make it real tight you want to be able to slide it on and off so I'm just going to fold mine there because mine's going to start protruding once I fill it. And then all you have to do is glue this down. This is a very simple closure. And of course, decorated, you know, or using nice paper or cardstock would be very, very nice. It would be very pretty. Or like I said, you could put Velcro dots here and here and Velcro dot it, or do magnets like I did with mine. And then, just a little snip here, because I didn't fold it evenly. It's not even cardstock, but it will work. And you can close it up by just putting this on. And like I said, mine's gonna start filling up, so I, you know, I wanted to make it loose enough because I have a lot of stuff I'm going to be fussy cutting. So, and then when you open it up, there you go. So, let's see, what did I do wrong? Oh, something got stuck. Hold on one second. I think it gets stuck over here. Yeah, there we go. So now I have all these pockets. Oh, this got stuck over here too. <laughs> Sorry. Here we go. So now I have all those pockets for ephemera. And you could even glue this so that when you open it up, it's glued there. But I'm not going to because I'll probably add um, some tracing paper here to slide in some, you know, pieces of ephemera and things like that. So that's it, that's as easy as it gets. It doesn't get any easier than that, or cheaper. It's a great, great little gift. So I'm going to put this aside and drum roll, if I'm still videoing, yes I am. And I wanna show you what I will be working on next. And that is this beautiful botanical kit from Rach and Bella Crafts. And if I just might be able to show it to you, um, I really do want to show it off <laughs> before I start using it. And I'll be um, doing some videos as well. So let's make sure I'm in frame. Uh, let's see, here we go. So here it is, Rach and Bella botanical kit. It's uh, the botanical, well, it's called botanical kit, but I think it's botanical, oh my goodness, beauty? I don't remember. But anyway, you can find it under botanical kit, Rachel Bella Crafts on Etsy. So here's the page. Some pockets. I'll go through this fast. Words. This is so beautiful. I am just so excited. I cannot even wait to work with this kit. Rachel, you really did an outstanding job. It's very versatile. It's We can use it all summer long. 
this one I printed full. So I printed another one so that it didn't get cut off. You know, my, I put it to a normal page, but all of these I printed um, full page, but I didn't get rid of them because even though I cut off this, I can still use other parts of it. So I didn't want to get rid of them. There's this page, and this page, and this page. It's a huge kit. <laughs> it's huge. I just cannot wait. And I haven't backed anything yet. So here's a gorgeous collage I cannot wait to work with. I mean, beautiful, right? Just gorgeous. Oh, running out of space. <laughs> Hold on. And um, they ran a sale at Easter. I don't know. They might be running a sale again, but there's another page. And I'm not on a design team or anything. I'm just making it because of this. <laughs> I'm going to frame it. <laughs> I just love it. And then there's this one. Just beautiful. It's just gorgeous. Look at this. What is that? It's just, oh my gosh, it's so cute. Look at it. This is all one kit. There's no like extra or anything. I know that there is uh, some botanical uh, words, which I already purchased and have to print. Um, like botanical dictionary um, words and things like that. But this is just the one kit. Look at the size of those tags and they are so sweet. I just can't wait, I can't wait. Thank you so much, Rach and Bella. Rachel, you have outdone yourself. And that's it. So, I'll be playing with that. I'll be doing a lot of fussy cutting, that's for sure, which I don't mind at all. I love, I love to fussy cut. I'm working so much now that I think I'm gonna probably have to get the skin and cut. And look at this front. You get so many things that you can cut off of this. All of these. The way that she did it, you can fussy cut all of this out. It's just fantastic. So, that's it for today's video. Good luck to everyone who has subscribed and left me a message as to where you're from. And again, I will select the winner uh, tomorrow uh, sometime around noon Eastern Standard Time. Be well, be blessed, and I love you all. Bye-bye.